uh, get out of the way. I was looking at that. What's that? Only one way to find out. What was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. What is it? Some sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Whispers. I haven't heard anything. Well, uh, here, I'll help you take it off. Okay, ow, wow, stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. I hope it's not like a curse. That's usually what leaves things stuck to you, right? Yeah, until you die. Which isn't what's happening here. I hope. Uh-oh, get off the pyramid, quick! Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. I was Come on, Hawking, let's get you up out of there. Now what the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground? Some sort of heck mouth? Sure, yeah, heck mouth. I I don't think I can see the bottom. Ugh, gives me the willies. And what's that sound coming from down there? Yep. Wow, that is bottomless. Well, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah, agreed. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. Well, am I supposed to do something? Oh, God. Look, I think that goes to the surface. Oh. Didn't realize I was supposed to do something. So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could 
leave a warning or something? Straight to the point. I like it. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... That was really bad. That sounds a little weird, Petra. He better not be like a weird fish person. Uh, he's definitely not that. Trust me, I've heard a lot of good things about him. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay, come on, you. What about my hand? This thing won't come off. I, yeah, I, I know, I know. But this llama... Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I, I kinda got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while, and now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh, it's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. Petro. Why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like, Champion City right over there? I had no idea that a leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword? I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. We're the Order of the Stone, Petra. Looking out for each other is what we do. That's fair. Thanks, Jesse. Come on. Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand! Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. She claims the top level are the diamond class apartments, but they're just one block wider. Wow, this is super impressive. Good layout, great colors. If you're into that sort of thing. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team. We will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. As I was saying, I wonder if, like, Mojane or Telltale, like, has someone build a huge structure like this, and then, like, they put it into here. Like, I wonder that. You know? This Stella person sure likes her llamas. You might say she likes them better than people. Oh, that's the mind of truth. Do I want to go? No. Well, I mean, maybe. Wow, that is.
as a classy mine shaft entrance. Didn't know they could look that nice. Ha, huh, yeah. Nothing's allowed in Champion City that doesn't look nice. Stella makes sure of it. Flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little trades all add up after a while. Wait, the whole town? How? Yep. She's always finding little reasons that people's trades aren't enough, making up new rules. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm going to make sure of it. Hey, Llama doing okay? Hard to tell. She seems really nervous. We should probably get her to Stella as soon as you're done looking around. Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches you. My darling, you came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella? Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City? Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh boy. Okay, why aren't you saying anything? I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. Oh, I really, really wish I could. I mean, really, but I can't. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. And, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald. <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra. Oh, sweetie, no. We're... I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Wait, what? You live here? I, uh... 
Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Of oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I'm not letting her get away with this. We're getting even. Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. Lights? Or... I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute. Oh no. How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Well, easy puppies. See, you like bones, right? This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty funny. She seriously thinks this makes you a hero? Treasure you got from other people? Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. But how could you pick Champion City? Stella is the worst. I know, I know. It just, uh... It seemed like a good idea at the time, all right? Ugh! No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero! You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources! Just look at today! We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late! I can't even get my friends to spend time with me! Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. It gets embarrassing. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Right, it's Petra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. Hiya! This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together they can take on. Oh, hi! Hello! Uh, you, you should not be here. This, this is, um, uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. 
Just hand over the sword, Stella. Don't make me get tough here. Fine. Fine. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival! Oh, man... Rah! Feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, it's all in the past, Petra. Just happy to reunite you with your favorite deadly weapon. Oh, and it feels so good. What is that? Stop this that. Those. Well, that's a lot of creepers. Oh, dear. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. Cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. So good to have you back. Well, uh... Left. Oh no, you don't! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. how we're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Now it's ready. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, then these people are dumb. Just because I'm the boss doesn't mean I can't mix it up. Uh-huh. Sure, sure. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world, and he's Kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? I've, I've heard legends of how great he is. Hey, you're a great adventurer too, Petra. Just play it cool around him. Story's changing. Well, I mean, I'm no Jack, but I'll give it a shot. Good advice. Just like episode one, season one. They meet in an alley and meet a person. Set Jack and Nerm's Jack. Adventure Emporium. 
Yep, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Also, I did watch the trailer, so I know some. I just never just watch anyone's gameplay, so it's just blind. Wow. The Upper Lowlands? Spider Peak Mountain? The Ice Crags of Doom? It's just like I told you! Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. I just mean, uh, it's all pretty cool. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. <gasps> I mean, sup? You push the button. Very, very brave. Thanks for noticing. I am very brave. Always good to see a hero that knows their own worth. <gasps> the warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. So awesome to meet you. Love your shop. Of course it is, and of course you do. Pleasure to have you in today. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Whoa! Yeah, that's what we're here about. <coughs> uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Found this way underground beneath Beacon Town. Thought you might be able to help us figure out where it came from? You did, huh? You can, can't you? <sighs> Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters. Yeah, and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol. You should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. But it was whispering my name. And that made you want to pick it up more? That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. No, no, no problem. Guys, this is Nerm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nerm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Sup? What are you doing with your hands? I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Okay, so why don't you come with us then? You could, I don't know, protect us? Be our guide? No. Vowed I'd never go back there again. Let me show you something. It's like I said before. 
The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. Yes, the empty square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh, kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Jack, you don't understand. We need that map. And I hear you. I really do. But I swear to you, it's not worth it. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get to that sea temple. That knowledge is... my curse. Hmm. Heavy. Hmm. Oh, you have no idea. Jack, Jack, sounds to me like it's your lucky day. Petra and I have a lot of great experience helping people get over their tragic backstories. We do? Yeah. Yeah, we'll tackle that temple together. You know what? You've inspired me. I mean, am I the Velvet Tornado or aren't I? You are, right? Yes. Then yeah, that's the spirit! Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, yes! Oh, by the way, am I doing a good job playing it cool? Uh, think he thinks I'm cool? I know I was a little awkward at first. Oh, yeah, you've been very cool. Very natural. I'm trying really hard. But I was feeling really good about it back there. Wow. Nerm, I told you, it's not the admins. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nurm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. <laughs> Easy, Nurmy. Don't blow a gasket. It's got you so excited about this one. Uh, I'll explain on the way. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little... squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. The Vest of Five Fists? Gifted to me by the Singing Clerics of okay, Port... Okay, jeez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor. you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake-baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the firework union. Radar. Understandable. The delegate from Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech at the parade. Very odd. Blue hair. Smells like sulfur. Radar. Speaking of which, you should probably work on your Founding Day keynote address. Oh, and rehearse it. Why didn't I factor in Radar. rehearsal time? Ah, sorry. You got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? 
I see you brought friends and a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. Gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! And I have so few details. Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... this is... Try not to explode. Ah! Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss. Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. Ha! Um, goodbye. Oh. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. Yeah, he's pretty hyperactive. I wish I could get him to calm down. Maybe teach him to meditate. Like the knights of the Shuje forest. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never... Uh, probably only seen you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Best part is, there's always another adventure on the horizon. Yeah, like a sea temple. Yeah, okay, not exactly what I meant, but sure. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No? No, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. I couldn't even keep a straight face saying that. Now that's more like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Oh. Listen, uh, with the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City. So, I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I hate it when we fight. It's the worst. You know I'd do anything for you, right? I know. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm? You guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh. Shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. off the cliff, mournful blade in hand, and drove it right into the head of the Ikara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Yeah, I love doing that move. It's the best. 
Oh, yeah. Pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Oh, no. Yeah, mansion. let's make that happen. Uh, it's really far from here. I love it. It's almost certain death. Wouldn't have it any other way. Hey, that sounds really cool. I can't wait either. Uh, yeah, sure, of course. Isn't that a little All right, before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Hmm. Hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. The what? <sighs> Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. So, this temple, it's dangerous then? You don't have any sponge in your ears, do you? Yeah, this place is super dangerous. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compass. The... The sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. Hey, uh, how exactly are we going to breathe? I knew a guy that taught me how to hold my breath for ten minutes. I mean, that's impressive, but... Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. Oh dear, that's the temple. Whoa! 